Okay, now I'm going to talk about the awesome thing called partial correlation. And so uh, I just made a quick video just a little bit ago, if you saw about Pearson R, when we found the relationship between GPA and uh, the number of hours people study. And there was a statistically significant, strong, positive relationship. But what if I wanted to see, well, what if we also account for how much sleep someone has because you know that could also have that could also be very much involved in the relationship here so what if I want to account for that like kind of control for that what if we pretended everyone has the same amount of sleep so I can build that into this uh, correlation uh, data analysis and use partial correlation and what it does it acts as like this vacuum cleaner it sucks up any effects it, it sucks up the the interaction of uh, our sitting in GPA and it makes it cleaner it makes it tighter by accounting for the number of sleep someone has it's like a dust buster all right so it's really easy to do. You still need to go through your norm, your assumptions, but you go to analyze and then you go to multivariate methods, multivariate, and you're going to go on and put in um, all three, all three of that data that you're interested in looking at where hours of sleep is like, it's kind of like a covariate really. Uh, so I'm going to put that in there and look at what I now that's this is still Pearson correlation. It's called zero order. There has been zero vacuum cleaning going on here. This is still kind of messy. They're kind of still accounting for each other. They're all kind of mixed up. But if I go to multivariate, I just had a cup of coffee, can you tell? And then I go to uh, Partial correlations right there. Now, it has magically made this cleaner. So before, um, the hour, hours in GPA was 0.74. Now this is cleaner, it's tighter. We have accounted for how much sleep someone has. And now we know like a truer correlation is 0 0.70. Isn't that awesome? And so you would report that as R little subscript P equals this. And I love using this. Um, I know that not everyone gets excited about statistics like I do, but it's actually pretty neat how the world works and how, how God makes all this work. To be honest with you, I think it's pretty awesome. So um, that's how you write it. Let's see. Yeah, you just write R little P equals and you write the new, the new partial correlation. So my data set must be a little different than what I had copied and pasted here, but that's, that's exactly what you would do. I don't think you test the p-value. You would just report the partial R correlation. All right, so, ooh, something I should have told you in the correlational video. When you have a lot of data and you need to make a table, it would look very much like this. Now I copied and pasted this from a Word document and sent to a Google document. And so I'm, I don't, this is not true APA, but look at how these factors that I looked at are numbered and then the correlations are reported here. So, um, so this is the correlation between concern over mistakes and personal standards, and it is statistically significant. And I've noted which ones are statistically significant at what level. All right, so um, that is partial correlation, and we'll see you next time.